hello guys welcome to new video on element on learning in this video we are going to discuss ETR online assessment in detail for Cisco Ideathon 2021 so let's get started so we have seen registrations preliminary quiz then followed by video submission which happened recently so now after video submission we are going to ETR online assessment and which is the last second step to secure and position of intern as well as full-time employment offer from Cisco Systems India so I hope that you have made a great video with a great idea and you have already submitted your video and waiting for the results and after the results is announced uh, we can expect ETR online assessment on 15th of October that is a uh, few days from now and after the ETR online assessment uh, they might take another five to seven days to announce results after that you will have one-on-one -on -one interviews so in this video I'm going to discuss how the ETR online assessment will be done and what will be the coming on one-on-one -on -one interviews schedule like what were the last year's planning and how were the interviews scheduled so let's get started Firstly, congratulations if you got through video submission round and hope you made through ETR as well as technical interviews and if not, if some of you didn't pass the video submission round, no need to worry, I have got you covered. Please subscribe and like to our channel. I provide a lot of opportunities and hackathon news in our Sunday of opportunities video so you can like and hit the bell icon to our channel so that you don't miss any upcoming opportunities from our side so talking about ETR online assessment so uh, ETR stands for evaluated team report and with the name itself you can see that the evaluation team of university recruiting that is Satish, Jagdish, those people will create a report out of your ATR online assessment test and who is going to help them to create HackerRank is the platform which will give the detailed report of your performance in ATR online assessment test so you should be uh, thorough what you want to and the idea for that I'll be providing in this video so keep watching till the end so talking about the pattern ETR online test will contain total of 26 questions so these 26 questions are further divided into 25 questions will be MCQs and it will cover mostly networking that is CCNA, cyber security, operating system and computer architecture. Also you might get uh, some different domains like domain specific. I'm talking about domain specific because once you are selected for video submission round at that time you will receive a link and with open positions which they are looking for and you have to apply for your position of interest so after that happens you will be provided with ETR online assessment test link according to which you have to give the test so uh, out of 26 25 will be MCQs and one will be competitive coding question and what kind of competitive coding questions I have discussed in upcoming slides with the hacker and example so let's go to the next point so uh, as I said uh, before attempting the your test uh, you have to fill your preference for job role so last year there were a few openings like software engineer for embedded and IT consulting engineer that is customer experience and business analytics and SRE site reliability engineering roles so based on your performance in the test you will be given the roles that is obvious so how will be the performance based so if you are looking for SA role so for software engineering if you are looking it's obvious that you have to complete the coding question 
and if you are looking for SRE site reliability engineering role then you should be more into the MCQs part because you will be helping the websites the site reliability for that so you should be knowing the customer support stuff for that so what is the average kind of stuff you have to score so for that uh, I have done the evaluation slide and I'll take you through the evaluation process and what you need to do at the minimum to crack this ETR online assessment test. So let's get started with the HackerRank platform. In HackerRank platform I have given a screenshot showing that there is an assist wide on channel and under that one challenge is provided. So you can go and check this challenge. The link I have provided in the description. So the name says AC manipulation and visualization so I guess that you all know what ACL is if you know comment it down in the comment section if you do not know I have got you covered so ACL is nothing but access control list and let us say if there is a server and you want to stop some IP users to enter to your server like reading and writing operation so for that you can write a ACL list to your router after that those IP addresses will not able to communicate to with your network so that can be uh, automated so this is the challenge they have given so you know the access control list syntax uh, how to configure it on router but they are not asking about that they are asking so there is a lot of users and you need to stop some of the malicious or suspect uh, users for that you need to do some scripting so for scripting you can use uh, c++ or anything but like uh, with scripting i mean automating the process so you can choose your uh, language of interest so basically if you are into automating python is really helpful there after that like talking about the uh, challenge statement in detail so as i said acl is defined as a set of rules to permit or deny access to the network an acl rule is used to keep track of the following information so acl will also help you to the track information about the user and what is happening Firstly, uh, it needs to track what will be the source and destination IP in any kind of communication and what are the protocol types ACL is offering like we have TCP, SMTP, all those protocols you should be aware of. Then all uh, for respective protocol like HTTP, you have a different port number and you should be aware of those port number because port numbers as well as protocol types those are interrelated and you can expect some questions based on port numbers they might ask you what is the port number uh, 21 refers to what is the port number 80 refers to you should be knowing like SMTP FTP all those kind of stuff what is uh, the port number for SSH then tell it all those things port number as well as protocol types you should be aware of then uh, acl take care of layer 4 specific information so you should be knowing all the layers in osi and for acl it is a specific to layer 4 that is our transport layer so following that uh, let us discuss some evaluation tip as we discussed earlier there will be 25 questions of mcqs and one question of the coding round and etr stands for uh, evaluated team report so uh, it doesn't matter like if you score all mcqs and if you didn't score the coding round you will be selected it isn't like that uh, it is a team report so it depends on how good are you in all the aspects so it is must that uh, you have to solve the coding question that is competitive coding question because if you even score 25 out of 25 in mcqs and if you didn't pass any test case in the coding question then there is a less chance that you will be cleared off 
so talking about the average performance you should be at least passing four test cases in the coding round and scoring above 15 in the mcqs so if you are able to solve at least four to five test cases so in hacker round there will be total 10 test cases to be passed to complete the coding round fully so if you are able to solve at least four to five test cases then there is a high chance that you'll be selected and you'll be chosen over the one who are, was not able to solve any of the test case so let me take you through the scenario uh, what happened last year so quite a few friends of mine were passed the video submission round and they got the options to select and while selecting for the job role a uh, few of them selected for customer support that is uh, consulting engineer in networking domain and after that so and after that they were provided with the ETR test link and in that test link uh, they were asked 25 MCQs and those questions were mainly based on operating system computer architecture and networking based and there was a coding question uh, as of I remember the coding questions were mainly on slicing and security security is nothing but encryption and the password strength those kind of stuff I hope that you prepare for coding questions first because as you all be preparing for the preliminary piece you should be knowing about the programming uh, CCNA those kind of stuff but you focus on coding round uh, try to give more attention on that try to solve some two to three examples on hacker rank so that you are uh, comfortable with the hacker on platform and following that I have what's next so if you have uh, completed the ATR and by your hard work you have completed and you have passed the ATR test so you will be having uh, interviews a set of interviews to be true and those set will be technical managerial and HR interview in technical there will be a panel uh, one or two member will interview you guys after that uh, those like they will ask about the protocol, routing protocols, OSI layers, those kind of stuff followed by managerial interview. There uh, they will check the teamwork and your competency in the team followed by HR interview. Uh, HR interview will test your like uh, long term and short term goals and uh, there they might discuss the CTC. As you will be joining as an intern first so there will be no CTC concept as of now but there will be discussion about the stipend. So all the two three round uh, specifically technical and managerial might be the knockout so depending upon the candidates who pass the ATR test it will depend. What if you have not cleared the ATR test in that case no need to worry. So I'll be providing the thing is you should get opportunities and you should give your hundred percent on to that opportunities but you should not expect uh, that all the opportunities will be conquered if you uh, try for five to ten obviously you might crack one of it so we provide a center of opportunities video every sunday and you can go and check it out i have provided cards uh, here so you can check the previous videos that might not be helpful at that time because it's already late within a day or two you have to apply for those positions to be considered so uh, for that you subscribe to our channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon because whenever we post and have opportunities you will be getting a notification and based on that notification you can uh, watch our videos all the referral links will be provided in our description of that particular video so you can go there and check it out that was all for this video and i wish you very all the best and uh, thank you for learning so that's all bye bye see you in the next video